Hello everybody, <clears throat> my name is RPG and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 3. Today it's time for fight 6 of the premium disc, or is this fight, no, fight 7. We're against Eom, Ion, Eom presumably. We've got two like, Ghibli tentacle things that don't really have magic, but probably have nasty specials. And Eom himself, who also has no magic, so probably nasty specials. Um, Eom is the final boss and main antagonist of, I believe, Shining Force 2 on the Game Gear. And as such, he also crops up in Shining Force CD at the end of the second scenario of that. Um, I've not pla I played Shining Force 2 on the Game Gear a very long time ago. Um, to the point where I don't even I don't remember anything about it. Um, Shining Force CD I played scenario one of, but the copy I was using just breaks at the start of scenario two, which is a bit of a shame. Right, so you got an AOE. That's nice. Of course, it's Demon Breath. Okay, so this could be problematic if they all can do this. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to hope that they can be beaten to death quicker than... Uh, or as quick as the Doom Dragon could be. The Dark Dragon, even. Doom Dragon is from Golden Sun. Hmm. Can't get... Are you only one tile big as well? Yeah, damn. Mm. I need you to move forward. But you won't do that because you can cast from... Ah, this sucks. Oh, nice. Oh, speaking of, actually, I've decided who I'll use that Brave Apple on. Um, Marky is the lowest XP. Um, it's either, it's either Marky or Prodent, and quite frankly, I think Marky deserves it more. Um, you should not bother to cast that unless you are within range of someone that will buff your magic. Which you are there. That's more like it. Again, you can't reach. Do you have anyone that can buff your magic here? Marquee, if I get her close enough. Uh, the fact they, have, they all have demon breath probably is real mean. Can't re yeah. Hmm. We'll have to do this. Worth noting as well, these all drop lucky cookies. So I'm probably going to use one on Hedver and one on Marky to get them to like nine and luck each, and then almost everyone will be really high luck. I like how you now trust Hedver already. That's adorable. You got to that relationship upgrade real quick. Like trusted is the third highest. Like the third one, that was just soulmate. So that was quick. What? Oh, you couldn't reach. Right, I don't know what that does, but I don't like the sound of it. Yeah, the fact that it's only one tile big is really distracting. I'm gonna have you chill there. Like, I guess... Actually, let me just double check. Okay, so that one is the boss, and I could get away with not killing the other tentacle, but I really could do with the lucky cookie. I think I'm going to have to go up this side, kill this tentacle, and then loop back around to try and pull it away. That seems like the prudent thing to do. Can Eon move? No. Right. Make Marky stronger. Nice. In fact, no, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the other heroes just dump their mana into this one. That sucks. Because most of the time they'll wanna be hitting with Melee, anyway. 
Especially when we get to actual big boy Eon. Frankly, I can't even... Nah, it's not even worth trying to say. This is why I should have given them knives. <laughs> Okay, so this, the tentacles aren't that tanky. He says he's probably having dumped a thousand damage into it, but they die pretty quick. Uh, you can spell it as well. Actually, hold the phone. Uh, yeah, you need this one equipped, just so you start regenerating MP between turns because it's probably this one's probably going to be the actual boss itself has probably got quite a bit of health like there's easily more I'm going to have to do more damage to this fight than I did to Dark Dragon easily based on the two tentacles alone Whatever that does, he must have such high luck that it can't actually affect him. So we can be extremely grateful for that, to be honest. He must be resistant to freeze. Oh, you're not in range. I did that. I made the same mistake last time where it looks like you should be. In fact, I don't think... Yeah, if I put you next to Julian, you'd be able to hit it, but it's going to be dead anyway. You know, it's possible that I won't be able to get that enemy away from the boss without anyone that can fly. Hmm. I should have healed. Right, you don't have enough mana to do a big a big hit, so don't. You do. In fact, Marky's now in a good position, so. Alright, he'll fall over now. Um I'll let Masquerin kill it. Actually, you might not now that she moved away. Hmm. Then someone else will kill it. Like Hayward or Bernard. I can't believe I like... Well, yeah, Hayward and Bernard were such MVPs in the main game. I'll bring them here. They'll be really useful. I mean, like, they, they've done some damage occasionally. Right, you got to bin something after this lucky cookie. Uh, I mean, none of these things are particularly good to drop, so I guess the fairy powder? And quite frankly, I don't want to bin those, just in case, but... I think I just said I'm going to use a lucky cookie on Marky. Marky and Hedva. Let's throw out one heal. We've killed we've killed one of the tentacles. So we might as well top everyone up ready. I'm so glad they got good enough MP growth to get four casts. And it's quite frankly unnecessary, but... Right, we'll use Protonus Bait. Which sounds really mean, but... Or we could use Symbiosis Bait, because he's closer. I really hope he can't do a summon and kill me. Because, like, he's on his own there. 
Right, you got a lucky cookie for Mark, eh? I think pretty much everyone's going to have eight or nine luck after this, except Haywoods, who's got five. He's not doing great on the luck front. So basically, I just need him to not get hit. Hmm. Okay, you're going to stay put. That's fine. The boss can't reach. This is convenient, actually, because it's letting me get all of the champions ready. Honestly, I think I'm going to have to just rush. But I'll see how long I can delay for everyone to catch up. Okay, so you are going to move, but I think where you are, I'm going to have to fight Eom at the same time. So what we'll do, um, only one person can hit this thing in melee, so one of the heroes will hit it and pretty much everyone else will just dogpile damage on it and then we'll move to the boss after. Um, did Symbios just take damage? Yeah, but only like 14. I think you are probably safe, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to heal everyone. I'm sort of glad I actually stopped grinding everyone now at, like, level, um, well, 15 for the heroes and 10 for everyone else. Apart from the characters that got a bit stronger just by virtue of being leveled a bit more. Wow, he's dribbly. I especially like his chest mouth, stomach mouth. Yeah, I'm going to have Symbios hit this one because I want Julian in the middle. Nice. Genuinely curious about how high the levels go. Or, or rather, at what point you stop gaining stats. Median letting the side down, not using his ultimate special. Although I do like when you level up after gaining a piddly amount of XP. That's always a pleasure. Um... Yeah, it's time for the blazoning. Honestly, I think I could maybe swap to Spark for a few turns, but... I'll hold back for now. No. So... Yeah, because if I'm not careful, I won't be able to get everyone around. You can hit from there? Wow. It's going to be like beating Bullzone to death round two. Except instead of having like three dudes that sit and just get in the way and heal him forever, it's two tentacles that you beat to death first. That are actually dangerous. Right, because after this, I can move Proden to go stand in front of Ian for a bit. Right, that's big. That's Demon Breath, I think. Yeah. 
such a lot of spooky ghosts for such a tiny mouth and tentacle. I love how tanky Masker has become. That's possibly the lowest damage we've actually managed so far at all, which is a shame. So what, what can you do? Okay. Right, that's pretty cool. However, ow. I don't know if that was split or if it just did that much damage. Either way, yikes. That could have been close. Like, Proton's probably the least useful member of the whole team here, but, like, I kind of need him around. Um, you can stay there. Right, resume the stabbing. Absolute zero, come on. Oh. Stabbing him right in his stomach mouth, though, seems like it would hurt. Actually, if I put Proden behind him after this, uh, Julian will be getting attack boost from three people. I'm honestly really enjoying. Actually, to be fair, you know, I don't think it would be a viable strategy to actually clear this properly. But like, um, and mostly just because there's no real way for you to bunch them properly. But just bringing every mage and spamming this through. I don't like. I don't know if you get to save in here and reload and try again with clear data. But if you could get all the mages to have soulmate with each other. And then just stack them in a, like, horrible wizard pile. The devastation you could wreak. Can't be too long until that guy's health bar appears. I guess I was further away than I thought from killing it. Please go to sleep. Perfect. Oh. Well, at least it didn't get a turn. I'm, I'm pretty content with that. This is why I brought you, Hayward. You've redeemed yourself. Nice. And there's his health bar. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just move Symbios away from that now. Ooh, double digit damage. That's unpleasant. You can go here now. Although, you buffing... I mean, I guess triple buffing Julian might be better than just stacking all the mages in a row, but we'll see. Eom himself has got to have taken a pretty big chunk of damage by now, too. Obviously, like, not enough. He's going to have way more health than the tentacles, I would have thought. Yes. Yes, triple buffs. Please use... The... Okay, this will do. How much does this do for reference? 105. And we froze the creature with zero movement in place. 
So, I'm pretty sure if he would get his, like, big boy special, he'd probably hit for, like, 160. Which is still less than Median, but whatever. He's trying his best. It's sort of cathartic that they've just got this down to an art form of just standing near something and burning it to death. Like, this will wake up now and not do anything. Right, that's good. In fact, it is doubly good. Like, after this, it'll wake up and not do anything. Or it could just... Not act. Actually, because I moved Symbios away, it... It should still die before it gets round to its next turn, but... It's going to be a bit closer than I would have liked. Go back to... Oh, I genuinely thought he was going to put it back to sleep again. Right, that's Demon Breath. Yeah. Right, this seems to be a recurring theme, that they all have Demon Breath, and their Demon Breaths are getting steadily more dangerous. Oh, he's frozen uh, feet of thorn, though. Frozen feet have thawed. There we go. To be fair, actually, Proden's Blaze actually does do decent damage. I can't fault him for that. I cannot fault him for trying. And he's going to make Julian hit real hard in a minute. Casually just hit him for 104 with a regular attack. 93. What is the difference between there? Is it really that high? So he's on 162. 155. Yeah, there is a fairly significant difference. Symbios is just showing everybody up by continually using his best special. Now we've got to make sure this thing dies. Actually, it should drop to... It won't die to these two blazes. Um, I could spark it. In fact, that's probably wise. Just to be absolutely sure. Oh, actually, no, it's fine now. Haywood's getting a shot in. Yeah, now it'll die to Blaze. It's telling that... I don't know, she did spark for a bit, actually. I think that's why her mana's so low. Nice damage. Oh, yeah, lucky cookie. Oh, she's going to have to drop something. You're going to have to drop... Um... That's kind of useless, but it's the Aurichalcum weapon. This is useless. Completely useless. I'm sorry, Golem. That lucky cookie is for Hedva. Which, conveniently, you're stood right next to her. Yeah, I'm going to have you go around to the other side. I think for this first... First turn of getting everyone to hit him, it's going to be a bit tricky to get everyone in range. Yeah, after this I'm going to have to move you away. 
Should have made him a knife or something. Well, like, whatever ranged weapon you could possibly equip, I should have made him one. If only you could use a tomahawk. Why are you fastest all of a sudden? Julian's literally surrounded by all his friends, bless him. Please do your best special, I need to see how much damage he does. Well, this is close. You need to stay still, but that's okay because you can hit from here. In fact, Synthesis can hit from there with Spark. Masquerade needs to go in this gap next to Marky. Like, the two casters with Freeze are probably the most versatile because they can just hit from wherever they want. It's a shame you're not going to be stood next to anyone to get a, like, buff, but... Your damage is kind of low without a buff. Right, so you can't reach. That sucks. You need to use the cookie. On Hedva. I need to be careful. And remember that Synthesis and Masquerin technically have 10 luck or 9 luck. It's just that only when they've got the crystal rod equipped do is that actually the case. See, I don't want to move you here because like you're isolated if I do that. And I don't know if anything he's got. Nice. Counts as a summon. Beam. Nice. I like how it's on all three heroes and then, you know, the backup singer. That is a lot of damage. I can only assume that whatever damage type it does, Proden does not resist. Yeah, you can't you can't move any well. Moving you across to the other side would be really convenient because then you could Zephyrus it. By the time you get round there, the fight will be over. I'm calling that now. How much more health can you possibly have? A fair bit. I'm hitting him for like... The heroes alone are doing 300 damage a round. And they've hit him for like 4 or 5 turns now. So he can't have that much health left. Maybe he's got like 3000. I don't, I don't actually know. He's going to drop a healing rain as well, but I'm probably going to have to just abandon. There we go. I figured there, there couldn't be much life left in him. I genuinely really like that they took the time here to put together like a bunch of extra bonus fights. Like, they didn't need to. It's nice. And like... Fighting all six Rainbloods, as much of a joke as that was, was nice. And all four of the Bullzone High Priest at the same time was quite nice as well. It's a nice little send-off. And then all these, like, rematches where they bothered to model monsters from old Shining Force games is cool as well. Even if it is just, like, the boss fight bit of it. 
and not like the whole fight. Like I assume like the, the difficulty with this boss normally would be not that it has a massive pile of HP, but just like having to fight your way through all of his minions first. I know that's not true with Dark Dragon. Um, I do know that is true for the boss that comes next, because I know what the eighth boss is. In fact, I know what both of the bosses coming up next are. What are you doing? Are you doing laser? That must just do 50 damage to whoever it hits. I'm glad he only takes one action. Also, I was dead right. Isabella's never going to make it all the way around there in time. Maybe I should have brought a Yudo because he's fast. It's just he didn't have the MP really to justify it, unfortunately. You could just come and stay up here now. Which one of you is going to kill him? Well, it's going to be whichever one of you is slowest, probably. Unless we get a sick crit. Kill the Symbios. At least he'll be level 20 now, probably. Actually, no, he won't. He hit 19, I think, while fighting this. At least he's partnered with Median now as well. What would we drop for the healing rain? Probably this healing drop. Two fights to go. What music do we get now? Ooh. This is the, like, the Auront music? Not Auront. The Tybalt and Yasha music, maybe. Possibly. It's very climactic. Or maybe this was the penultimate battle music, just, I don't know. Either way, I'm going to put this one in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.